February 28, to do it. It happened in the middle of winter, February 28, 1999. Believers had gathered for a week of revival meetings at the Anglican Church. Hungry for God and troubled by new reports of community drug use, they decided to add a special Sunday afternoon youth service. Among those leading the meeting were Pastor Moses Kayak and his ministerial colleagues Joshua and James Ariak, all great grandsons of the original lightkeeper, Angwatizawak. An invitation was offered for youth who felt they wanted to come closer to God. Worship leader Louis Ariak was praying over the youth that had gathered around the altar. I felt so close to God and he kept giving me this verse that says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Something s started to happen that uh, was out of our control. This uh, noise started coming. Yeah, it started softly, like you can barely hear it. A dual cassette deck used to record the service was still running off the soundboard. Right away, I wanted to stop, but it kept getting louder, and, and I started to notice that people were kind of getting a little nervous. It was so loud that everything started to shake. Fire went right through me. It sounded like a jet. Things started to shake. I started to shake. I told myself, there's no jets in the pond in the land. After this extraordinary visitation, it was evident the moment still had power. Every time I thought about it, I, I was greatly humble. Uh, thinking, thinking that uh, the Almighty God can visit us. When Pastor Moses Kayak first heard the low-pitched rumbling, he walked over to the church soundboard to adjust the settings. I tried this, not stop, tried this, no stop. When these efforts failed to correct the situation, he quickly turned down the master control. When this too failed, he shut the system off completely. Still, the sound and the recording continued. It shouldn't have been recorded. It's only by the miracle of God. They came into the town. He was completely humble to the point where he wanted to continually come before God, kneel, and ask for prayer, and ask for the cleansing of the heart, to become pure before him. 